Just a uh, real quick video on showing trading against the uh, local, what I call the local POC point of control. What I had done is I drew a, saw this squeeze area up here and uh, in NinjaTrader uh, 8, the uh, lifetime license version offers you the ability to uh, just hit the control and then the number 3 and it gives you this ability to draw this localized volume profile and I drew it from about here to here and that uh, gave me the POC that's the magenta line which I've extended out here and as so often is the case price comes back up and the sellers who pushed it down from here uh, begin to defend their position here and uh, so uh, it's uh, it's an I find it an, an effective way to trade. I drew the um, anchor VWAP here and hoping the price would come down and tap it. Now it got pretty darn close. I probably should have exited right there because it was about a I think about a thousand dollar profit right around in there. So I've given all that back, and then it came down again. So I guess that's what two mistakes in a row, right? But uh, just. Uh, want to see if it will reach down here and grab my target right there and I'm using the TDI the TDI uh, baseline which is this green dotted line has come up to the 50 level whereas the uh, price line and the signal line have already exceeded the 50 level up here and uh, I thought that if this price line which is this solid line not the dash line if it comes down and taps this it's liable to want to keep going up so i'm a little bit of a risk here and maybe what i'll do is uh i'll go ahead and put this on pause we're still less than three minutes on this video don't want to take all your time today but i'll put it on pause and see what happens okay it's 11:54, coming up uh, close to the london close and notice that this uh, TDI is not set to on tick. I like to set that to on tick as opposed to on bar close. And that'll bring that right on this live candle here. The other thing I wanted to point out, I failed to mention, I had my pending order right up here and it came up and tapped it, but I guess it didn't, uh, it, it didn't uh, quite... Um, envelop the the spread and didn't fire my short so I chased it and I got it in down here so I was a little bit of chasing it so had I had that trigger right up there um, it would have added uh, considerably to the profit so it's 11.55 you can see that the price line which is this solid line has not quite come down and hit this 50 level. We've got some higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, lower high, lower high. So the gist of this is to look for a squeeze area, an area of consolidation, draw your localized POC, and then uh, set your stops and your targets. And I think you'll find these to be a pretty high probability trade. Okay, we're getting, uh, what is it, 11.58? Let's see if we get a push down here at the, look at our uh, TDI price line coming down here to this 50. Let's see if it comes down here and bounces off. Now remember, I changed this to on tick rather than on on bar close. I just like to see the live rendition of the of the indicator. And a lot of people say you don't want to use uh, on tick because it's uh, too much of a drain on your computer resources. But I frankly haven't seen that to be the case, and I use it heavily the the on tick. I don't use it on the VWAP. I find that. Uh, the the uh, default VWAP is um, 
it distorts the line and and why i don't know but i i keep that uh, on bar close now one nice thing about trade devils uh anchor vwap is it doesn't seem to be bothered now let me just see let me see if i can get the properties on on that do i have it I guess it doesn't give us the choice of on tick, but I don't find it distorted. And I have another one too from another supplier. Well, that's not quite. Let me bring this in the same. You can see it's perfect overlay there, right? And that's from another marker, creator, coder. Okay, so we're getting close here. What are we looking at? It's an eight hundred dollar profit, and this should be north of a thousand if it can get down there. Come on, let's come on down there. We're hitting this, hitting that uh, level rate. Okay, great, excellent. You might have heard in the background. I have another had another trade set up similarly that closed as well. So that worked out well. Just uh, basically, I wanted to show you how I enjoy setting these localized you know, volume profiles in there. Find the POC, and and then and then what what I interpret is that since it moves south from there, then the sellers are in control, so that they brought it down. So if it comes back up, they want to defend that uh, short position. And sure enough, they did right to the tick here. So much to the tick that my pending order I had was not fired. So I chased it. Um, too greedy, I guess. And uh, so, but I did stay patient. And, I, and there's a certain element of luck. The price came back down and did hit and did, in fact, hit this. So I hope that's a help to you, and uh, if there are any questions, just fire them at me.